Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The development of Netra AWNC Mark 1 has been quite interesting. If you look at the manufacturers of airborne early warning system around the world, most of them are also aircraft manufacturers, for example Saab or Boeing. India has been exception beat Falcon Avox or Netra AWNC. Therefore, DRDO had to face a lot of challenges in developing Netra AWNC as for many activities they have to be dependent on the aircraft manufacturers. Now if we talk about Netra Mark 1, its major components are AESA based primary radar, identification friend or foe IFF which is also known as SSR or secondary surveillance radar, along with LINT and SIGINT system hosted on an executive jet platform Embraer 145. The system has full net centric capability through multiple line of sight and satellite communication data links on board and mission computer. It is integrated with C band data link, KU band SATCOM data link, and V slash UHF communication link for voice communication. All the systems are completely indigenous. The IFF system is a major spin off technology from AWNC, which has been further used in QRSAM, TAPAS, MRSAM, and in future in LC Mark II. The aircraft comes with self protection suite, which includes radar warning receiver, missile approach warning system, and countermeasure dispensing system. Nitra Mark I is capable of operating at an altitude of more than 35,000 feet and has endurance of more than 8 hours with air-to-air -air refueling. It provides 240 degree coverage with radar having range of 250 to 300 kilometers. DRDO has developed 3 Netra AWNC Mark I. However, Indian Air Force need at least 15 to 18 airborne early warning system considering the two front war situations. Now, in order to enhance the aerial surveillance and combat capability of Air Force, the Cabinet Committee on Security on September 2021 approved a project to build six airborne early warning systems at a cost of 10,990 crore. This project was called as Nitra Mark II and will be developed on pre owned Airbus A321 aircraft from Air India, which is bigger and much powerful platform than Embraer 145. The AWNC will feature gallium nitride based TR modules. While Netra Mark 1 has coverage of 240 degrees, Mark 2 will have coverage of 300 degrees. The primary radar is going to be based on four dimensional AESA multi mode radar, that is, it can operate in air to air and air to sea mode and will consist of two radars operating in S band and X band respectively. The dorsal system, like Nitra Mark 1, will have two active antenna array units assembled back to back and mounted on top of the fuselage, providing coverage of 240 degrees. The second AAC radar is placed at the nose cone, providing coverage of plus minus 30 degree in azimuth. Both radars are also integrated with IFF. The other improvements can be seen in the self protection suite, which will feature dual color missile approach warning system. The aircraft will have operating attitude of 30,000 feet, endurance of more than 6 hours with 45 minutes of reserve fuel. It will incorporate SATCOM, data link, IFF, electronic countermeasures, self-protection suite, chaff dispenser and dual auxiliary power unit. Now during Aero India show 2023, as per our discussion and interaction with the DRD officials, the delivery of Netra Mark II will begin from 2025 onwards and all six Netra Mark II will be delivered by 2028. Indian Air Force is also pushing for six more Netra AWNC based on the proven platform of Embraer 145. However, they will feature gallium nitride based AS radar which will be more powerful than existing Netra Mark I. Once approval and funding for the same is released by government, the work will commence on these aircrafts and it can be delivered at much faster rate. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, 
I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.